Hi, I'm Deanna Pocono Schwartz. I go to school at Felix A. Williams. Yay! I'm eight years old, and Jackie um, and the River Kids have been at my school and teaching me about the river. I hope that um, for the river that it can be cleaned so people can go and in the river and the animals can live. Honest to God, it is for the kids that we are doing this. So when they look back and we are all passed into the next life where we go, that they look back and they can say proudly, my parents and my friends' parents and all of us, they fought for us, and then they will fight for their children too. So thank you very much. Now right along that theme, I wanted to read you a short excerpt out of a book called An Everglades Providence by Jim Davis. And it's a, he writes about the story of, of Marjorie Stoneman Douglas and about what happened with the St. Lucie and the Caloosahatchee Rivers. And uh, I'm just going to read you one section out of this. It's talking about Ernie Lyons. Of course, uh, Riverkeeper, tell us who, he, who Ernie Lyons was. Ernie Lyons was one of the first editors for the Stewart News. And when they were putting the Okeechobee Waterway in, and when they punched through C-23 and C-24, back in the 1920s, he predicted all of this was going to happen to us. And he was very against all these connections and using us as the sewer for our agricultural and, and corporate pollutants. He was. Thank you very much, Marty, our Indian River Keeper. And um, just in case you don't know, the bridge between Souls Point and Hutchison Island is named for Ernie Lyons. It's the Ernie Lyons Bridge. So this book is talking about Ernie Lyons and Stewart. I would like you to listen to this part. Over the years, various vaunted Everglades enterprises had instilled in the people of Stewart the value of doubting and defiance, and sometimes the sum of uproar. Sometimes the sum of uproar. Can you repeat that after me? Sometimes the sum of uproar. One more time. Sometimes the sum of uproar. And that is where we are again, ladies and gentlemen. And this is where we have to not stop. Because we have reached a point where we have gotten a lot of attention and people all over the state and across the world are looking at our problems here. And in my opinion, I'm just one person, but the only thing that's going to fix this in the long run is, a, is some type of flow way south. Some type of flow way south. And why that is, no one ever talks about, you know, I mean, God bless Senator Joe Negron for his hearing and all those politicians for being up there listening, but I don't think they have any idea how much water they are talking about. You are talking about enough water with one foot of water in Lake Okeechobee, it would fill up the St. Lucie Estuary 23 times. And usually they're taking three or four feet of water off of that lake. All these nice short-term fixes that they're doing, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We will be gracious, but... We are going to keep our sum of uproar, and we are going to push until there is some type of flowway south. Because that flowway south is the only thing that is going to help the river kids and their children. And not only is it going to help us, because we don't want to just be selfish, it is going to help the rest of the state of Florida. That water running south will help recharge the aquifer, which will help people that live in Miami, in the Keys, in West Palm Beach, um, Naples, Fort Myers, all of us, and also for agriculture, who sometimes I'm very tough on, but we do need some agriculture, of course, to have food. They need the water. The people need the water. I'm going to say one last thing because I'm sure you're getting a little bored. There is something happening right now. 
Yes, sir. The should have said that, but you're saying it, so thank you very much. Well, I'm, uh, I have, thank you, sir. I just, thank you. The mayor is awesome. She's one of my heroes. So, um, what is happening right now? I went to a South Florida Water Management District uh, RAC meeting just last week. And I've also been talking to this with some of the people I know at Harbor Branch Oceanographic Institute in uh, Fort Pierce. There is an area north of the lake, I think it's the Central Water something district. It, it, it's seven different counties that are in the Kissimmee area that do not have enough water. They are running out of water. And then what are we doing? What are we doing? We're trying to help the river so it can get clean. And also say we're dumping water. We're dumping water. I never tell these kids what to say. We're <laughs> dumping water. It is so idiotic that we are dumping, according to Mark Perry, 1.75 billion gallons of water a day on average. And there are people in our state who don't have enough water. So let's get some water north of the lake for the people who don't have enough water, and let's get water south of the lake for people that are not going to have enough water, and let's keep the sum of uproar going for 10 more years. Thank you.